surveillance tape has obviously been doctored. I know that, and you know that, and whoever made the tape knows that, but how are we going to convince the jury without any proof? Well, hopefully Cole is handling that end of things. Oh, yes, the elusive Cole. Jonas, Cole and Montana are two different people. Oh, yeah, but they'd never be at the same party together, right? He'll come through for us. Come on, I'll buy a coffee. Good. Yes. It's going well. Well, it should be. The evidence we've provided ought to put him away for a long time. There is one thing, though. The tracker is acting very odd. Have you spoken to Vax? No, why? I'm starting to wonder if he took care of that loose end or not. We can't have Montana on the streets. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. Just make sure the verdict goes our way. It will. Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Mr. Montana, would you please tell the court where you were at 11 a.m. on December 3rd? Oh, yes, I was in a parking garage in Oak Park. I was hired to play an actor in a small indie movie. Mm -hmm. And you were hired for the role of a killer? Well, my character didn't have a name or anything. There wasn't a script, per se. It was more of a workshop kind of thing, you know, uh, ad-libs and things. Fascinating. Tell us more about your character. Why did you want to kill Mr. Curtis? Objection, Your Honor. Uh, prosecution is obviously leading the witness. Sustain, rephrase the question. So, why did your character shoot and kill Mr. Curtis? Well, I wasn't quite sure about my motivation. Um, I actually asked the director and he just said, uh, jump out and shoot the guy. Just jump out and shoot the guy? Yes. I and mean, I did a very believable job. Well, if your goal was to kill Mr. Curtis, I'd say you were extremely successful. Thanks. So what happened next? Well, the director, you know, cut. <laughs> and um, I was wrapped. And then you abruptly fled the country. Well, I wouldn't exactly say fled. I mean, the producer loved my work and immediately put me for a long print job in Paris. Uh, I've done several others. I did the coal underwear ad. Do you remember that one? <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> you know, I got into a limousine and um, two hours later I was at the airport and uh, off. Mm -hmm. And that's the truth? Yes. And you always tell the truth? Yes. <laughs> but isn't it true, Mr. Montana, that you frequently fabricate stories about yourself and your employment? What do you mean? <laughs> well, let me give an example. Would you please tell the court your real name? Montana? Troy Montana? Yes, your legal name, perhaps. I'll rephrase the question. What was your name given at birth? No, it's okay. It's me, Mel. Miss Montana, yes. answer the question. Percy Green's name. Excuse me, could you speak up? I'll get them to show this. Percy. Greenstein. Mm -hmm. And I have a long list of people who are willing to testify that you regularly padded your resume by lying about acting jobs. Your Honor, uh, what's he doing here? Is there a problem oh, here? Oh, you bet there is, Your Honor. Mr. That guy, Montana. But that guy tried killing me over there. Mr. Montana! But Your Honor. Your Honor, I apologize for the behavior of my... Quiet. Mr. Adderley, stop badgering the witness. Either ask him a question or move on. I believe we were talking about honesty, correct? Yes. Well, if you're asking whether I stretch the truth sometimes, uh, yes. I'm an actor, you know. That's what I do. Jonas. You know, it's my job in life to actually... Jonas. 
don the costume, smear on the grease paint, blur the line between fact and fiction. Precisely. And it's your expertise in that area that makes it all the more difficult for us to know when you're telling the truth or when you're blurring that line. Yes. Your yes. Honor, this is Jonas. a... Jonas! What? What is going on over there? Your Honor, just a... Jonas, here's the tape. Be sure they see this. Counselor. Your Honor, permission to approach uh, the bench, please. What are you doing? I'm in the middle of questioning a witness. Uh, uh, um, uh, I have just come into some evidence that uh, will shed a whole new light on these proceedings, Your Honor. Mr. Carr, you are seriously out of order. I will not allow this kind of behavior in my courtroom. If you have new evidence, you must first share it with the prosecution, uh, uh, and with then... With respect, Your Honor, I, 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 uh, <clears throat> I beg to differ with you. There is legal precedence for this. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, 1997, Grant versus Benson. 1998, uh, Lankoff versus Cooper. In each, uh, 1999, uh, Stewart versus uh, Oakley, the Paramount case. Your Honor. In each of these cases, critical evidence was allowed and immediately taken into consideration because it directly refuted previously established evidence, Your Honor. Now, to deny me this, this request, Your Honor, would be tantamount to denying my client his legal rights. You may continue, Counselor. Thank you. Now, Your Honor, this video will show, it will, 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 will prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that my client is innocent. Your Honor, this... Just show the evidence, Counselor. But I'm warning you, if this isn't everything you've made it out to be, there is going to be trouble. going to hurt you. Oh, yes, yeah, like you didn't at the apartment, huh? What's that? Yeah. Oh, go give me a break. Come on. Oh, I hurt my foot. I hurt my foot. Oh, it hurts. Oh, not the face. <sighs> to our very own Clarence Darrow. Thanks again for everything. We got lucky. Now, listen. The prosecution is still challenging the validity of our tapes, but we've got a strong line of video experts, and there's no way the court is going to reverse their decision to dismiss the charges, so... Hello, Mel. Cool. I wanted to thank you. Yes. So, uh, who are you now? I'm Cole. Hmm. And where is Mr. Montana? I don't know. You know, either you're taking this thing a little too far, or... You need to see the first one. What is it going to take for you to believe me? You know, Jess, what you're doing right now is considered rude in some countries. I'm just trying to figure out which one he is. I'm Cole. I knew it. No one else could have an ass like that. Thank you. I think. Hey, Jess. Looking good. <laughs> hey, what's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. You... Oh, my God. <laughs> What's he talking about? Oh. 
Are you cold? Well, people say we look alike. So I've heard. Well, personally, I don't see it. I'm obviously taller and uh, in better shape, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, we should celebrate, don't you think? Come on, celebration. Hmm? Apple martini? Apple martinis on the house, right? Apple martinis all around. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cole. Yes, 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 yes. He has a lot of energy. He certainly does. Do you think I should dress like him? No. 